man behind the camera just seen it. Wow. This is the speed of sound experiment. I love sound. And I want to know how fast the speed of sound is in air at room temperature. So let's see what we have here. Ah, our equation of the day. How simple is this? So distance equals rate times time. Some sort of distance equals a velocity, which will be the speed of sound for us in times time. So all I need to do is I need to find a series of different distances and then a series of different times for when the speed of sound pulse reaches those distances. Plot a line. A slope of that line would be the speed of sound V. <laughs> Just be careful. Just be careful. Your speed of sound will be in centimeters per millisecond. If you want meters per second, you have to convert. <laughs> <laughs> Come over here. Come over here. Ah, look at this. You see that? You see this? Okay. Two things to look at. First, this is the speaker where the sound is coming from. So I'll be quiet for a moment while you get a good listen to that sound pulse. Okay. Okay, and at the same time as it's sending on a sound pulse, it's sending a signal to the oscilloscope. And then over here is a movable detector, a movable detector, and it has another speaker that detects the signal and sends a voltage signal to the oscilloscope. It's like a movable stopwatch. Okay, okay, so now, Let's take a look at that signal on the oscilloscope here. Let's take a look at this. So there it is. So watch what happens to the signal here as I move the detector speaker away from the source. It moves away too. Excellent. Excellent. So the oscilloscope is how I'll read the time values, and this ruler taped onto the tube is how I'll read the position values. Okay, great. So this is how we're going to set up. Set up first, push this all the way in, and then there's a knob here to adjust the position. This, whole, this knob here on the time scale to adjust the position. I'm going to put, I can put any old peak onto the first line, and each of the lines, each of the horizontal boxes represents 0.5 milliseconds. So I'm going to use this position knob. I'm going to put any peak there. I'm picking the biggest peak because real men only use the biggest peaks. I'm putting it right... Uh, uh-huh. Yes. Right there. Now, I recommend you don't touch the oscilloscope again. After that, the only way this pulse is going to move is by increasing the elongation. So, our first time is 0.5 milliseconds. Let's see how we're going to read its distance now. Well, I'm going to use a piece of paper. And you see the detector speaker here? It has several edges. All I need to do is pick one edge and then stick to that edge. I could pick the left edge, the right edge. You see that black strip? I could pick the left of that black strip or the right of that black strip. I'm just going to pick the left of that black strip. So I'm going to use a piece of paper to help me out. Okay, so uh, let's see. 8.6. 8.67. Okay, then I increase the distance of the detector until I see this pulse go to the next box, which would then be one millisecond. Uh huh. Uh, yes. And then next, I read that distance. I read that distance. And I do it again. I increase this until now I'm at 1.5, I read that distance, and then 2 milliseconds, I read that distance, and then 2.5, and then 3, and I plot my line! And the slope is the speed of sound at room temperature and air. How cool is that? Okay, for part two, we now want to find the precision. So what we're going to do 
is we're going to set the detector at a certain time, let's say two milliseconds, and we're going to take that same distance five times, and then we're going to find the mean, standard deviation, standard deviation of the mean for your error analysis. So, I'm going to put the speaker back to where this was at the two millisecond mark. I'll read it in elongation. Okay? And then I'm going to move this away somewhere. I'm going to move it away. And then I'm going to slowly put it back at that same time. Uh huh. And I'm going to read the elongation again. And then I'm going to move it away and then slowly put it back. And you won't get the same value each time. But that's how you get your five values. And then that's it. I'm so happy. I'm going to rock out again.